All right, we're back on Frank and Nova. Um, we changed the front of the car to the 6872 style. We changed the back of the car to the 6872 style. And now I need to do some work underneath. It's dirty and crusty and nasty. And I want to clean some of that up so it doesn't fall off going down the track. So instead of laying on my back, we're going to build a tip over jig. All right, first things first. I'm going to get the uh, radiator support and the grill, the bumper, all that stuff off the subframe. Um, get the rest of this old wiring harness taken loose, get it out of the way. That way I can spin the car around and I'll be able to take the subframe loose, roll it outside, take the rear end out from under it, and then I can start building my jig. And of course the nut went way down in there. Oh well, we'll get it out later. Bolts are in pretty good shape. That hurt. But that bitch came loose. All right. I got the radiator support bumper and all that stuff off the front, and I got most of the blood cleaned up from busting my butt. But now we're going to spin the car around, and I'll start getting the uh, subframe loose and the rear end loose. All right, let's see how bad this goes. That wasn't so bad. All right, I got this ugly turd turned around. So now I can get the subframe unbolted and just roll it right out the door where I can clean that thing up and get ready to rebuild it. So I'm gonna throw it up on jack stands to get that loose. And then I'm gonna put the uh, back up on jack stands so I can get the rear end out from under it, take the bumper back off that I finally got mounted. And then I'm gonna start building my jig. See if this comes down without crashing. Let's 
It's almost like I've done that before. got that separated I still got to get the emergency brake cable out of the way the dollar cable out of the way um, and now we're gonna get the rear end pulled out all right I was gonna pull the rear end out before I started putting the jig on but I decided to leave it there to keep the car stable um, in case I have to beat it around a little bit and then I once I get this on there before I flip it over I'll take the rear end off to reduce the weight so I went and bought about $100 in lumber and I uh, got some 2x6s. I'm going to go ahead and measure to get the 2x6 across here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the entire width of um, somewhere on here. And then I'll divide the sides of the 2x6 and I'll keep it even on both sides. That way if I want to put a piece of plywood on the other side, I can do that. I've got a eight foot two by six here, 96 inches. Our measurement on the car was 61 inches. So what I did was figure that's 35 inches. I came 17 and a half inches off the end of each board and put a mark that's gonna give me a line to line up with the edges of the taillight panel. All right, I don't have any of my squeeze clamps with me. So what I did was I lined up my marks on the side so I should have about the same amount sticking off the side of each side of the car. Um, got it in place with a C-clamp. I'm going to get underneath and look and make sure that the board is making good contact across that uh, rear panel that I butchered up when I changed the tail light panel. Alright, so it's sitting flush pretty much all the way across. Okay, so while the board was clamped to the back of the car, I went through a Sharpie. And since this is a 74, I used the original bumper mount where the shocks go through the frame, uh, the edge of the frame flange. So I've got my four marks here and my four marks over there. I'm going to drill some holes in them. I've got these half inch or whatever they are, carriage bolts that are going through. I've got a bit size just for that, so it won't be too much wiggle. All right, I got my holes drilled. They might be a tad bit big for these um, bolts. But we're gonna go with it. See if they line up all right. All right. All right. All right, in order to make my 24 inch radius, I've got my sheet of plywood here, which is, if I hadn't already mentioned, it's three quarter inch birch. Um, you can use a, a lower grade plywood. This is a, an appearance grade plywood. I had it left over from something else and just figured I'd get it out of my way by using it. Um, <clears throat> just don't use OSB, uh, chipboard or you know, oriented strand board. I don't know what kind of strength that has. Use regular plywood. All right, so <clears throat> I've got my Sharpie right here. And I've, what I've done is I've put a thumbtack, not a thumbtack, a roofing tack right here with some string on it. I've put a 24 inch line across there or at, at 24 inches away. And now I've got my Sharpie. I'm gonna put it right on 24 inches. And then I'm just gonna to go to the corner. And now, I have a 24 inch radius. And I'm just going to cut along here with the jigsaw all the way to here and then I'll have the piece I need to make the side of the jig. All right, I'm going to cut this with the jigsaw real quick and see if we can keep it kind of straight and smooth. All right, turned out pretty good. Okay, I've marked out on the board um, exactly where I need this 2x6 to go. And now I'm going to put some screws in there to hold it before I put my 
bridges through. And these screws are probably a tad long. And guys, make sure if you're going to do this, you use construction screws, not drywall screws. Um, the screws aren't going to be holding anything. I'm going to have bolts in there, but you know, you, you want as much as you can get, especially if the um, when you put your uh, plywood splices over the joints on this wood, you, you don't want drywall screws holding it. They're, they're totally different than construction screws. Got this brace in, fixed to screw it together. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have another four foot piece come off here, going up that way, and a brace coming down here. And this board will actually be what the what the jig is supported by when the car's up on its side. Okay, I've got a big mess, a bunch of sawdust, and I've got half of it built. Let's check it out. All right. What I did was I put the measurements in inches on all of these pieces. So the legs are 24 inches. This brace to hold this leg to here is 10 inch by 12 inch. The main bar going across is 96 inches. Five by five and a, uh, five and a half by 10 on that um, brace. This one is 37 inches, the longest measurement. That's a 45 degree angle on both sides. This one is 26 inch. This other leg, 24 inch and this leg is 48 um, this is a four foot wide piece of plywood and it's got a 24 inch radius cut into it I showed you how to do that so we've got it all put together um, because of the lip on the back of this car and the distance in to the cross rail I had to put another two by six on there and then I was only lacking like a quarter of an inch but I just used plywood to I just used plywood to space that off so that'll give me enough the only problem is my five inch bolts I bought carriage bolts since these two go through the plywood I'm gonna have to get two six inch bolts because they barely make it through okay I got this one in and this one in on two of these what I did was I ended up drilling my hole a little bit crooked. So this hole here is offset that way just a little bit and this one is also. So I'm gonna drill those out a little bit straighter and hopefully the little bit of wiggle room. These are tight enough where I don't think these having a little extra room around the bolt is gonna affect it too much. All right, let's see if that did it. No, that did not do it. That might have. There we go. Where's my other bolt? Hopefully I'll be able to get a nut on those. Okay, now you can see what I've got here. I've got my four foot board going out that way. I've got my brace here, my brace here. I've got a 24 inch board coming out this way. I will have to trim the end of that to be round like the plywood. And then my main board is eight feet long, just like the one on the back. I did not pre-mark the measurements of my holes that are gonna mount this to the front. And what I'm gonna do, I've got a four by four post it's actually three and a half by three and a half but you know they call it a four by four i'm going to mount it right here to where the subframe mounts on both sides i've got some five eighths bolts that are uh five inches long i think or six inches long they'll go through the four by four mount it here and then i'll mount my other board to the front of the four by four but it's going to be up here so i have two connectors that go down that are braced off 
All right. Let's see if I can get this to get this to start. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have two two by sixes coming up this way that are braced together, bolted to this, and that'll offset the difference between the height of this and the height of the rear um, because I built both of those at the same height. So hopefully those will be all right that way. All right, it took some work, but I've got it all bolted to the front. It was hard to video some of what I was doing, so I'll show you right quick. I've got the 4x4 that I showed you earlier right here. And since this was going to be higher um, from the mounting point in the back than, than the crossbeam was, there's nowhere secure up here to, to bolt anything to. So what I did was I ran that 4x4 across there. I put two 2x6 pieces right here and bolted those to the 2 by, uh, the 4x4. I put another piece bolted to the 4x4 in between the two so that they can't move this way back and forth um, as much as any. I don't, I don't know. Um, and then I bolted this to there and I kind of bolted it as close to the bottom as I could to give it the least amount of leverage up here. Um, and still felt like I had some meat on the wood. So um, I got my brace over here on this leg. I've got it screwed off. I've got that brace screwed off. Um, put a little bit of bracing right here on this one, a little bit of bracing here. And then also I have my mending plates on a couple of spots down there. You can't see it, but on the back so that the plywood wasn't holding up everything um, before I had a large expanse of plywood right here and I was afraid about that flexing even though I think it's pretty strong I don't know what the body weighs um, I put that on there to give it less deflection and I did the same thing to the one in the back and this one is braced a little different right here you can see where I used to have the brace going down there but the rear body panel got in the way so I braced this here and I think it's going to be okay. Okay. We're ready to push this thing over. When you're working on cars, there's two things you can't have enough of. Lube and friends to help you. Wait, that, that sounded dirty. Okay. Um, I've got some guys He's here. They're going to help me turn this thing over. And hopefully it won't fall. We're going to see how it works. Getting it the rest of the way up. Let's just kind of see how it goes. Let's wing it and see what happens. All you right. want to put that board's kind of split. You want to put a bolt through that? That your handle. Try not to beat my car to death with it if it breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it breaks, I might run into your car and get out of the way. All right, you're going to hide underneath it. What am I doing? I, yeah. Which is the heavy end? I don't know. Mark. Okay, hey, if it goes to fall, y'all just get the hell out of the way. Yeah, no, no. One, problem. two, three, go. Oh, man. You're not anywhere near as bad as it fall. Uh-uh. Hey, y'all going to go It's going to go fast on the... Hey, somebody got on the other side, actually. Um, so what are y'all? I can't, I can't stay here long. Hey, what are y'all going to the other side? Can, can, can Just slow it down. down. Go to the other side so you can slow it down. There you okay. go. Alright, ready? Go. Yeah. Keep going. Dude, I'm... Come on. Okay. I'm just going to ride this thing over. It's not okay. grabbing like I thought it would and, and jumping over. Sure, that's uh, it. Hop off of it before I can get nervous. <laughs> Dude, that was, that, was, that was perfect. That wasn't bad. Okay, Great. so how uh, careful now. I'm going to see how sturdy it is. It's not very sturdy. Uh, it's, there's not much keeping it from going back. You don't think so? No. I, I was just standing on all it. Right, don't, yeah, he was standing on it. People uh, like standing on the edge. Sure, I, I, read the, I wrote the thing all Alright, so now, okay. without him standing on it. Be... I'm telling you, it's good. It's not too bad, but just for your oh, own. Oh, I'm going to put a kickstand under it. Uh, yeah. For your own safety, I'd probably run a ratchet strap around at least one of those to the wall. I think kickstand would be fine. We did good. All right. Chip over jig worked great. We flipped it up, thought it was going to be heavy. It wasn't as bad as we thought it might be. Uh, three of us did it. Kind of two of us did it. You, you really need to have three people here um, if you're, or there if you're going to do this. Um, it wasn't that heavy, but it's kind of scary tipping it over the first time. 
coming back is about the same. It's a little bit scary the first time you do it, but then you realize it, it's not going to jump around on you. Just, just be careful building it. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And, you know, I don't know how strong these things are. It might be way overbuilt, but I'm scared to death it was going to fall, so I built it the best I could. You know, it, it's going to work for me. It seems pretty sturdy. It doesn't seem like it's going to move a lot, so I'm pretty happy with it. Going to get all this stuff cleaned off. Uh, I'm going to clean up my floor pan patches, get some seam seller on those, clean up some of the welds, um, fix a little bit, a few things on the bottom of the car here. Uh, over the next few days, I've got the front subframe outside. It's going to press, get pressure washed. We're going to rebuild it, put some disc brakes on it, and then I'm going to work on this eight and a half inch rear end we've got over here to try to get it ready to put a spool in it and get it ready to go back in the car. So. Thanks guys for checking out the video. Check out the whole playlist on this build right here. And then subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Come back and see me.